Good morning. Hey, good morning, fish heads. Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. We are halfway through a week, I think. Today is Wednesday. It is the 26th of August, 2020, hump day. So I've got my coffee in hand. I've got, uh, got a couple of uh, videos on the slow cooker here. I am getting ready to finish editing the ginormous time lapse. So I did, I filmed the entire day. I did. Um, filmed the entire day. Hang on a second. Let me grab some coffee. And I've time-lapsed that down to about 35, 40 minutes. So you're looking at about eight hours. Now, I did take a break um, probably for an hour or so to do some errands and some office work, which is uber boring. I'm not going to make you guys endure that. But just to give you a glimpse of what a full day looks like in the shop, and most of the days are quite longer than that, but I figured eight hours was enough. It'll give you guys kind of a feel of what happens in the day at the shop. So if you guys want to check that out, that's going to be coming out later on today or this evening, probably later this evening. This should be a short edit, and I should have this out by this afternoon. If not, you guys will see, I don't know which one you're going to see first, but that is what's going on. So I have occasionally on here, I will sell a few pieces so we're going to get into that before i get into the showcase of what has been going on um, recently in the shop here and we're going to talk about four maybe five or six pieces i'm think i'm thinking i'm going to sell six so um i will do within like the first couple hours i'm going to do a couple of pieces and I'm not going to do auctions. Auctions are ridiculously hard to pull off on YouTube. Sometimes you can do it, but I'll do auctions every once in a while on Facebook. But we're going to start out. I have one more of these. This is that ES Flat Glide. It is a replica. It is not the original ES Flat, but it does swim the same. Um, this is in the Ultimate Gill pattern. And you can see all the detailing on it. Let me get this light a little bit better on there and quite a bit of work has gone into this detailing let me pull this up for you guys so that you're looking at how it turned out just under two ounces swims like a dream it's evenly pinned so it's going to have that swim from side to side action this is fully cured and coated. It's got three layers of seal on it, so it will take some punishment. And all the detail for you guys. I want to I wanna sell this at $30, but that includes shipping to you guys. So if you're interested, hit me up on a direct comment here or find me on Facebook. You can direct message me either at Jen Cravasi or at Jekyll Bait Company on Facebook. So Instagram is tricky. I'm on there, but I'm usually on and off, and I get so many direct messages. It's really hard to keep up with requests and accepts and primary in general. So I would, I would limit it to Facebook and here. So 30 bucks shipped to your door in the States. This is U.S. only. I'm not shipping. I will ship it internationally, but you would have to pay the cost. So international shipping is not inexpensive. If you guys want one of these real bad, um, this is the last one that I have left. I made four of these. Three of them are sold. So that is that. This is that juke. Good suspending. $15 shipped. Quite a bit of detailing on that in the fins as well. $15 shipped on this one. If you guys are interested in that same deal 
drop me a comment let me know hey I want that custom juke or I want that custom glide bait um, I'm gonna go through all of them you can rewind the video you can play it over you can get the details and the specs this thing weighs just over a half an ounce really good twitch it is a brand name it's that juke and uh, if you get out the law stick here we're looking at right at 100 mil so this is a juke 100 15 shipped to your door here we go on that mackerel that I did in a quick spray the other day that color shifting paint man I love that stuff boy oh boy oh boy and I think the stripers would go wild on this the only thing that you would have to do is switch out if you're gonna use it for salt switch out the hooks on this I mean you can use these hooks but they'll just junk up real quick on you there are specific hooks that are made for salt water and I'm going to show you the difference in what those look like I actually have a, a larger one but these are salt resistant and usually you'll find that these hooks are very light in appearance most of your freshwater hooks with very few exceptions are that black nickel or a brassy type so on this uh, we'll do the same thing $15 shipped to your door and it'll be in a box and sealed this is that Castaic Loco 10 it's from the mystery tackle box from this previous month's send out runs 5 to 10 weighs a half an ounce and it's about three and a half inches to the bill in my puffer color it originally was the chartreuse shad I think it was chartreuse shad yep and because of the detailing and stuff on this I want to do 18 shipped on this if you guys are interested in that shoot me a comment 18 shipped on the green puffer castaic and then this this will be dressed with mustad kvds number fours this is that recon shad and this you guys have not seen before not previously this one you have which is a recon pop without the shad dot because I put red eyes on this I didn't want to do overkill which is also why I have chrome eyes on this one but this is a little rebel pop R three just under three inches it is in a red white and blue theme whereas this is that gray ghost pattern that I love doing so on the pop we'd go $12 shipped on this 2.5 square bill we would go 15 shipped so if you guys are interested in any of those shoot me a comment in the description below or direct message me on my Facebook platforms again um, I am on fate or uh, Instagram but it's not uh, uh, there's way too many DMS I, I have literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds so it's just I just really don't I don't check my very very rarely do I check my DMS on Instagram so there you have it that are those are the pieces that I would be uh, willing to sell I've got some orders going out so let's get into those this morning and it, it's really early as I'm filming this uh, it's like 630 in the morning I've been up since about 430 um, that is my average day my average day in the shop goes from about 430 or 5 o'clock in the morning sometimes till 10 or 11 at night depending on the day I've got a few outgoings here to show you guys and I'm really excited about it so let's do these crackle Sammies going out to James Harding and I have just about finished up June I've got two more website I think two more websites from June you got like a six and a seven piece and then I've got um, some other I've got like a custom piece from I think New York that's like a tw 12 piece maybe that I've got and that'll finish up June completely then we'll be into all the July sprays in August so I am catching up it's just I'm doing it as fast as I can you guys have been gracious 
in your ordering and thank you thank you so much for supporting small business this is the black on white these are the marble crackles and they are so pretty and really effective striper like these too this is this has really been uh, a lot of you guys have been requesting baits and top waters for for striper fishing which you can do fresh or salt water this particular one is for freshwater striper fishing and uh, I like it I like it a lot so two marble crackle patterns and we've got these lure parts online eyes so so hot on these eyes good glows as well so nighttime top water and then I've got a four piece mega bass these are the X pods and they're going out to Justin Brewer so we're gonna start with uh, we'll start with this little guy over here this is a pickerel I had artist choice he asked for specifically the copperhead pattern and said I could go crazy with the other ones he gave me a couple of suggestions he was looking at maybe four snakes but I decided that uh, I wanted to do a couple of frog type pickerel type patterns that are really good late summer early fall because I'm imagining that's when he's going to be fishing these and just about every state in our union has pickerel so this is a lot of detailing on these pectoral fins and yes this is legit 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 mega bass so uh, I get a lot more brand name repaints um, than I do blanks anymore which is actually really good um, over a period of time blanks can be bread and butter but I prefer to do the legit resprays simply because a lot of times the ABS plastic and blanks is a lot less durable it'll snap and crack and I don't know how well it's been put together so you have to go through a lot of rigorous testing to find blanks that I feel are appropriate that I would resell and there are a few there's still quite a few that I use but I'm trying to kind of weed that out um, now that I'm in my fifth year of business so there we have it and this is a pretty pickerel pattern I really really like it and then we have the American copper frog John's eyes at Jetson Brian's stenciling from Anarchy Model UK stencils and I'll throw in a tip and trick here too because you guys always ask for them the cool thing is throwing white paint on if you're doing stenciling you can do it in white and then if you have a transparent enough paint it's not really going to change the way the paint underneath looks enough but it will lay a separate color down so this is a for example this is a leaf green that I put on top of the white here in a couple of areas and I did the same running through these little tiny creature feature stencils so you start run an entire line of white stencil down and then transparent it's got to be really thin reduced transparent paint and that's not going to really affect the color underneath but it will add a little bit of a different color to that white love the way this came out love 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 those eyes okay so the other thing you guys always ask me on these baits especially these because these are even a little bit more uh, detailed than the other ones yes I do dip these I'll dip the entire thing even though this is a legit gill through you can see that there's no junk in there but what I'm doing is as these are coming back up through I take my tail drip wire before I put it on the tail and I'll gently insert it into the mouthpiece and then I'll gently pull anything out like so I'll, I'll just take a, a little drip wire and run it through not to scratch the paint up but just to kind of pull any of that excess clear coat out and then gravity does the rest of the work and you still have a beautiful 
non-junky. You can see that there's no clear coat stuck in there at all. And if you guys are really interested in finding out like the exact process, I have one. It's probably a couple of years old now. I know I did one for a gill through blank, not on an, uh, an actual mega bass. So maybe the next batch of mega bass I get, I will do how to dip and clear these gill through. It's a little tricky, but as you can see, that came out beautifully. There is absolutely no junk anywhere in the mouth of this that's going to impede that gill through flow. So Justin Brewer going out to you. Couple more. The one that he specifically asked for was the copperhead pattern. So I did that for him and I additionally detailed in ink in that uh, really good Uniball Vision Elite acrylic ink. This was a medium point that copperhead pattern and I did put the traditional eyes they come with these eyes so I didn't add any different eyes I was very careful taking them off because I knew I had to put them back on and I didn't want to spray with it on because of the way it's kind of indented it's not very easy to tape this area so and again the same thing no signs of any gook or junk in there that's actually because it's a little bit bigger so he have, I've got two of these X pod juniors and then this is the actual X pod detailing on on the tongue and these are just these are mega bass smokes poppers they're really really good at their craft worth the high price in my opinion my humble opinion so there's your copperhead and then we have this king. I think it's the king. I know. Red next to yellow kill a fellow, but I'm not I can never keep keep it straight onto Eastern King or the other one. Was it Coral Snake? So these are also John's eyes from Jetson. And cool snake patterns. So I did get you a couple of snake patterns there, Justin. I hope you enjoy them. And then last but certainly not least, I've got a five-piece Spro. And you can see that these are legit Spros. You can see the transparent paint still shows the Spro logo underneath. And it's a modified red bug. So I get a lot of anglers in the Ozarks that are fishing Bull Shoals, Table Rock, the likes, uh, Lake of the Ozarks, uh, Lake Norfolk, just to name a few that are really hot on these rock crawlers. And this is the RK-55, Mike McClellan's. And there is that shape. I don't know why I say shape. It's not shape, Jen. It's, it's color shift. So that color shift green into that purple. Man, it's pretty. And a lot of you, when I show photographs of it, it, it doesn't really do the justice that showing you in live footage how that, that color shifts. So there's your green. Now you see it. Now you don't. There, it's going into purple. I mean, it's just cool. Um, it's expensive. It is not cheap. Schmanky is about 41 to $43 for a little bit less than an ounce, like 28 millimeters, <coughs> milliliters. He's going to bark. Rascal. We're holding. Waiting for you to finish barking there, bud. So this is their modified red bug pattern. Bright, bright red. Flow orange belly. Hand cut, rough cut stencil on this. This is not anybody's stencil. I just cut it myself. And then a beautiful moss green gold, actually a copper mix glitter. And that iridescent color shifting paint. It's, it's just pretty. Um, and you can't, you can't screw it up. But it's, again, it's not inexpensive. And these usually go to tournament anglers that will be competing in that area. Now you see it. Now you don't. So pretty. So there's five of those. 
I could just, yeah, I literally could, I could stare at it all day. All day long. Yeah. Okay. That, that is all the news that's fit to print. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and hanging out with me this morning. As I go through my pieces, I did it again. I always do it. I have a, so I have a tripod right here. And it just, it's in the way. One of these days, I'm going to have a legit shot because, again, I have outgrown this place. Um, but it's just a matter of logistics and finances to get me there. So, hey, thanks for stopping by the channel. I really appreciate the view. It's good to see your smiling faces, and I hope that you all have a good rest of your week. Today is Wednesday. There is a hurricane bearing down on our, our family in Texas and Louisiana, our angling fish head brothers and sisters down there and uh, pretty much everybody down there. Please be careful, please batten down the hatches, or if they tell you to get out of Dodge, get out of Dodge, don't stay there. We learned our lesson with Katrina. It can be devastating, especially in Louisiana, where there's lots of levees, um, not to, I won't even go there, but there's lots of levees that have been around a long time that are in desperate need of repair, but you have those surges. Folks, get out if they tell you to. Love y'all. Mean it. See you on the next one. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. Cool.